welcome to the Television Centre in Dublin for the 20th National Song Contest. And here's your host, Gay Byrne. Right then, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the annual Song Fest, coming, as the man said, live to you from Studio One in Montrose. The object of the exercise to pick a song to represent Ireland, Eurovision Song Contest, Sweden, first Saturday in May. And to perform that onerous task, we have no less than 11 juries situated all over the country in various locations, each with a spokesperson standing by to give me their vote when the occasion arises. Uh, tonight, they have to choose from eight songs out of a total entry originally this year of 451, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, performing the uh, accompaniment services, as always, the ladies and gentlemen of the RTE Concert Orchestra, leader Alan Smale, conducted by Noel Keelahan. And we bring you our usual reminder that this is a composer's contest, not a singer's contest. Now, in each case, we have details, introductory details, of the composers. And they're brought to us by Marty Whelan. Let's join Marty now, and he will introduce to us the composers of Song A. <laughs> Little and Shea Healy are certainly no strangers to national song contests. Paul with Chips and Linda Martin in 1982 with Tissue of Lies and in 1974 he wrote Cross Your Heart for Tina which came seventh in Europe. Of course Shea's winning combination with Johnny Logan and Watson of the Year is well chronicled. Here are two hopefuls display the type of abuse that's normally afforded Shea Healy records. The trouble is they, they do always come back. Paul and Shea, both of many years' experience in the music business, did well to hold their tummies in for this piece of film. Note the loose tracksuits. is arranged by Andy O'Callaghan to sing at a young lady who's been singing professionally for only two years. She now fronts a band called Casablanca, and this is her first ever television appearance. Would you welcome, please, Carol Ann.
beating as one, Shay Healy and Paul Little doesn't bear thinking about, does it? All right then, Marty Songby. <laughs> Margaret McKenna hails from Durrow in Leash, and having been so impressed by the presentation sisters at the local primary school, she decided to continue her education under their guidance and attendance at Vinton's College. Lover of milk, she took a position with Avonmore Creameries, where incidentally she has been for six years in the computer department. This is Margaret's third time to enter the National Song Contest, but the first time she's made the final. Milk, Marty. She went to work for a creamery. You'd say anything for a laugh, wouldn't you? Um, this is uh, Margaret McKenna's song to sing it. A young lady who started in show business at the age of five with her family circus and uh, with the trio Sheba. She won the 1981 National Song Contest and went on to represent Ireland in Eurovision in Dublin. She now sings solo. Would you welcome, please, Marion Fawcett? <laughs> was arranged by Johnny Curran for Margaret McKenna. Song C now coming up, uh, Jodie McStravick this time.
Jody McStravick is an artist of high calibre, a singer-songwriter of long standing. He's over six feet. About 18 months ago, he released an album of his own songs, which was well received. He's toured Europe and more recently formed his own band called Another Photograph. And only last week, they released their first single. But aside from all this excitement, Jody is more than prepared when feeling peckish to drop into his favorite restaurant and enthrall the masses so much. So much that, that their dinners tend to go cold. In 1982, Jody came second in the National Song Contest with Is There Anyone Out There? It was his treatment of that song and the unusual arrangement that first brought him to our attention. Early, the composer is the singer, the singer is the composer. Welcome, please, Jody McStravick. Two composers have a double chance of success in the competition tonight. You know them both well. Let's meet them, Marty. Dennis Woods and Irene McCubrey, or Maxie, have been writing songs together now for five years. 
and by the look of them in our film, catching cold together too. More about Dennis and his red nose later. Maxie, meanwhile, represented Ireland in Eurovision back in 1973 and recently penned Body Works along with Dennis for Linda Martin. The dog, by the way, is Sunus, who bolted, incidentally, the morning of this film, but turned up at the TV centre, not camera shy, but eager. since last September, Max, he's been with Radio 2 as a jockette. On a very talented young lady of 18 years who's already packed a tremendous amount of show business experience into her first years. You'll recall that she was chosen from thousands of hopefuls to play the part of Annie in the Victoria Palace in London and thereafter in the Gaiety Theatre in Dublin. Would you welcome, please, Jacintha White. a little song that and arranged by Bill Whelan, our next composer from Belfast. Jane Cassidy is from Belfast 
but we caught up with her where the mountains of Morn sweep down to the sea. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Anyway, she was part of the folk revival of the mid-70s, listing Sandy Denny and Joni Mitchell as her greatest influences. She's played in many European countries, and a solo album was released in 1982 called Waves of Time. In fact, Jane likes waves, but I have a sneaking suspicion she's going to throw a stone at one. There she goes. As a singer-songwriter, perhaps she feels she can best interpret her own song. So she's singing for us tonight. Yes, and uh, this one is arranged for Jane by Andy O'Callaghan. Once again, the composer is the singer. Welcome Jane Cassidy, please. Jane Cassidy, our next composer, I guess you'll know very well indeed, but Marty Whelan insists on telling you all about him all over again.
Johnny Logan. The name is now synonymous with Eurovision. Winner in 1980 with What's Another Year and writer of Terminal 3 last year for Linda Martin, which came second in Eurovision. Five years since he won Eurovision, Johnny is now lean, trim and slimline, it says here. Sounds more like a bicycler or a rasher. He spends a lot of time in recording studios and writes with the piano. Funny, I've always used a pen myself. He spent much of 1984 in Turkey, where, according to this, he's in great demand. He must owe them money. All right, then, and to sing Sean Sherrard's song, difficult to say that, his brother Mick, and who better? Uh, this, of course, is also a son of Patrick O'Hagan, and his career to date has been mainly in the rock field and musical theatre. This is his first time on the National Song Contest, and as you'll see, he is wearing his decorations in honour of the night. Would you welcome, please, Mike Sherrard. That one was arranged by Bill Whelan, so is this. I told you this pair were having a second bite at the cherry in the competition tonight. Let's meet them again, Irene and Dennis. Here's Maxie and Dennis Woods again, at Lytton Lane, no less, putting the final touches to another song. 
In fact, they wanted to write all eight songs for the final, but we were able to stop them by kidnapping the dog. Dennis has worked with Johnny Logan, Maura O'Connell, Step Aside, one of the finest Irish bands of the 70s, and on Paul Ashford's solo work. As a songwriting team, Dennis and Maxie seem destined for great things, they told me to say. sing this one, a young lady with a fair old musical pedigree. She's the daughter of the well-known Dixie's lead singer, Brendan O'Brien, and thus the niece of Glenn Curtin, and there's a fair amount of crotchets and quavers wrapped up in that. She fronts her own band now, which is called Gold, and last year they released their first record. From Cork, would you welcome Trish O'Brien. this develop into Cork versus Dublin tonight, I ask myself, let's hastily move on to our last composer. Brandon Graham is another composer with Eurovision experience. In 1976, he wrote When for Red Hurley, which represented Ireland in The Hague. A sporting man, Brandon is fond of the odd jog. Here, Brandon greets an old friend. 
At one time, Brendan played basketball for Ireland as a youth, and while living in Australia, captained his university rugby team. Those tracksuits really should have better pockets. Look, he's dropped his change now. There's the boys again, pointing him in the right direction. There he is. I bet he looks over the bridge now. Told you so. To sing the final song of the competition tonight, a young lady, Dublin-born, brought up in Dundalk. She won a scholarship for herself to Yale University and studied there. She's performed on television shows in New York, and Boston, New Haven, and New Orleans. In 1984, she represented Ireland at the musical festival in Kanaka, and she also performed at the Castlebar uh, International Song Contest. Would you welcome, please, Maria Christian.
All right, then. That's our, that's our last song of the night. Wherever you are around the country here in the studio, this is the time to take out your cards and to mark up your vote and decide, if you are a member of a jury, which song would you vote for. Just before we go into this commercial break, ladies and gentlemen, could I make a special announcement? And that is that I want to send greetings, we want to send greetings, to a dear friend and colleague of ours here in RTE who is ill at home at this time. I speak, of course, of Tom McGrath. And Tom, if you're watching and we're told that you are, we know that you know that we know that this is your gig and always was. From Studio One, we send you our greetings and we wish you well. Do we not, ladies and gentlemen? to us after the break to meet our special guest. Thank you again. Welcome back to the National Song Contest coming to you live from Studio One in Montrose. Now, while we get our juries all over the country contacted and our scoreboard organized, would you welcome, please, our special guest stars tonight, Linda Martin and Chips.
Spreading the news I'm leaving today I wanna be a part of it New York, New York These vagabond shoes Are longing to stray And step Oh. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Decisions, decisions, by now most of our juries should have made up their minds and should have allotted their points. Eleven of them around the country and here in the studio we have with us Mr. Frank Whelan representing RTE as our official scrutineer and his function is to make sure the scoreboard doesn't go mad on us and also that the juries don't uh, overestimate their allotted, allocated number of marks for each song. All right, let's call in the easiest one first, the Dublin Regional Jury and representing them, John Skeen. Hello, John. Hello, Gay. This is John Skeen, the Grand Hotel in Malahide. And here's the Dublin regional vote. Song A, two hearts, no votes. Two hearts, no votes. Song B, only a fantasy, no votes. Only a fantasy, no votes. Song C, couldn't live my life, six votes. Song C, six votes. Song D, the circus song, two, two votes. Song D, two votes. Song E, long before, one vote. Long before, one vote. Song F, hearts, no votes. Hearts, zilch. Song G, hold her now, no votes. Hold her now, zilch. Song H, wait until the weekend comes, one vote. Wait till the weekend comes, one vote. And that's it, Gay, the vote from the Dublin Regional Jury. Thank you, John. Good evening to you in Malahide. Next, we move north to Castle Blaney, standing by there to represent his jury, Paddy Cole. Hello, Gay. Good evening to you, Paddy. Uh, this is Paddy Cole here in the Central Hotel of Castle Blaney, in this lovely old town of Castle Blaney. <laughs> this is the Castle Blaney vote. Song A, two hearts, two votes. Two hearts, two votes. Song B, only a fantasy, no votes. Only a fantasy, no vote. Song C, couldn't live my life, one vote. Song C, one vote. Song D, the circus song, no votes. Circus song, no vote. Song E, long before, no votes. Long before, no vote. Song F, hearts, three votes. Hearts, three votes. Song G, hold her now, one vote. Hold her now, one vote. And song H, wait until the weekend comes, three votes. Three votes for song H. This is the end of the vote from Castle Blaney. Off you go, Paddy. Play your clarinet. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Next, we move further north to Donegal Town. Standing by there, Joe McGarrigal. Hello, Gay. This is Joe McGarrigal and the Highland Central Hotel, Donegal Town, and here is the Donegal vote. Song A, two hearts, three votes. Two hearts, three votes. Song B, only a fantasy, three votes. Only a fantasy, three votes. Song C, couldn't live my life, no votes. Song C, nothing from Donegal. Song D, the circus song, one vote. The circus song, one vote. Song E, long before, no votes. Long before, no vote. Song F, hearts, no votes. Hearts, no vote. Song G, hold her now, one vote. Hold her now, one vote. And song H, with until the weekend comes, two votes. Song H, two votes. Putting song C, couldn't live my life into the lead with seven votes. Th thank you, Joe. Good evening to you. Sorry if I cut you off there, but never mind. That was Joe McGarrigal in Donegal Town. Southwest, we move now to Westport, and standing by there, Liam Lyons. Uh, well, Gay, there's great excitement here on Westport tonight. This is nothing new as Westport is a very exciting place to be in at any time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are many, many visitors uh, just marvel at the breathtaking beauty of Kill Bay with its hundreds of islands. They're fascinated by the cosmopolitan atmosphere and our lovely plant town. <laughs> Got that in you. Um, right, well, just let me say that one visitor will confirm our uniqueness. Now, to give you the voting from our illustrious jury here in Westport, um, song A, two hearts. Two hearts at long last, no vote. <laughs> Song B, only a fantasy, no vote. 
Only a fantasy, no boat. Song C, couldn't live my life, three votes. Couldn't live my life, three votes. Song D, the circus song, no vote. The circus song, no vote. Song E, long before, no vote. Long before, no vote. Song F, hearts, no vote. Hearts, no vote. Song G, hold her now, two votes. Hold her now, two votes. And song H, wait until the weekend comes, five votes. Wait till the weekend comes, five votes, bringing it to 11 and first place so far. Thank you, Liam. Good evening to you in Westport. Now we move further south a little and Galway, and there representing the jury, the captain of the Galway hurling team, Joe Connolly. Hello, Joe. Hello, Gay. Uh, this is Joe Connolly in the car of Great Southern Hotel Galway. Here is the Galway vote. Song A, two hearts, no vote. Nothing for two hearts. Song B, only a fantasy, two votes. Two votes for only a fantasy. Song C, couldn't live my life, no vote. Song C, nothing. Song D, the circus song, one vote. Circus song, one. Song E, long before, one vote. Long before, one. Song F, hearts, no vote. Hearts, no vote. Song G, hold her now, no vote. Hold her now, no vote. Song H, wait until the weekend comes, six votes. Song H, six votes, screaming into the lead at 17. Good night to you, Joe. Thank night, you in Galway. Man. Now we move to Burr and the director of Burr Vintage Festival, Frank McNamara. Frank? Hello, Gay. This is the other Frank McNamara ringing from the lovely County Arms Hotel in downtown Burr. And here is the vote of the Burr jury. Song A, two hearts, one vote. Two hearts, one vote. Song B, only a fantasy, no vote. Only a fantasy, zero. Song C, couldn't live my life, four votes. Couldn't live my life, four. Song D, the circus song, one vote. Circus song up to five. Song E, long before, no vote. Long before stays at two. Song F, hearts, no vote. Heart stays at three. Song G, hold her now, no vote. Hold her now stays at four. Song H, wait until the weekend comes, four votes. Song H, up to 21. And that is the end of the vote from the Burr jury. Good night, Gay. Thank you to the other Frank McNamara in Burr. Next, we go to Limerick, and from the bell table, Breed Jukes. Good evening, Breed. Good evening, Gay. This is Breed Jukes here in Cruises Hotel in Limerick. Here is the Limerick vote. Song A, two hearts, four votes. Up to ten for two hearts. Song B, only a fantasy, one vote. Up to six for only a fantasy. Song C, couldn't live my life, no vote. Couldn't live my life stays at fourteen. Song D, the circus song, no vote. Circus song stays at five. Song E, long before, no vote. Long before stays at two. Song F, hearts, no vote. Hearts stays at three. Song G, hold her now, four votes. Hold her now goes up to eight. Song H, wait until the weekend comes, one vote. H goes up to 22, still retaining the lead. And thank you, Limerick and Breed Dukes. Thank you, Gay. Kind regards to Alan. Next, we move to Ken Mayer. And from the world of Kerry football, we welcome Pat Spillane. Good evening, Gay. Uh, this is Pat Spillane in the Riverside Hotel, Kinmare. Here is the Kinmare vote. Song A, two hearts, one vote. Two hearts goes to 11. Song B, only a fantasy, no vote. Only a fantasy stays at six. Song C, couldn't live my life, no vote. Couldn't live my life stays at 14. Song D, the circus song, no vote. Circus song stays at five. Song E, long before, seven votes. Long before goes to nine. Song F, hearts, no vote. Hearts stays at three. Song G, hold her now, two votes. Hold her now goes to ten. And song H, wait until the weekend comes, no vote. 
Age stays at 22, but this still... This is the vote from Ken Mayer, Julie. Thank you. Thank you, Ken Mayer and Pat Spillane. <laughs> now we move to Cork, and from RTE in Cork, Donna O'Sullivan. Good evening, Dave. This Good evening, is Donna. Donna O'Sullivan in the Metropolitan Hotel, and here is the Cork 800 vote. From A, two hearts, one vote. Two hearts goes to 12. From B, only a fantasy, one vote. Only a fantasy to seven. Song C, couldn't live my life, no votes. Couldn't live my life stays at 14. Song D, the circus song, no votes. The circus song stays at five. Song E, long before, no votes. Long before stays at nine. Song F, hearts, no votes. Hearts stays at three. Song G, hold her now, two votes. Hold her now goes to 12. Song H, wait until the weekend comes, six votes. Song H goes to 28 and screams into the lead again. This Thank is you. the end of the votes from the Cork jury. Thank you, Donna, and good night to you in Cork. Two juries to go now, ladies and gentlemen. Wait till the weekend comes, song H, way out in the lead at 28. Can that change in the next two votes? Waterford, our RTE correspondent there is Michael Ryan. Good evening, Gay, and greetings from the Waterford Jury, checking in from the <laughs> City's Tower Hotel. And the Waterford votes are as follows. Song A, two hearts, four votes. Two hearts goes to 16. Song B, only a fantasy, no votes. Only a fantasy stays at seven. Song C, couldn't live my life, one vote. Couldn't live my life goes to 15. Song D, the circus song, no vote. Circus song stays at five. Song E, long before, three votes. Long before goes to 12. Song F, hearts, no vote. Song F, hearts, three. Song G, hold her now, two votes. Hold her now goes to 14. And song H, wait until the weekend comes, no votes. Song H stays at 28 and still healthily in the lead. Thank you, Michael. Good night to you in Waterford. And finally, we come to Dublin Central Jury, and to speak on their behalf, we welcome Twink. Good evening, Gay. And here we are coming to you live from the Dynasty Suite in Jury's Hotel, Dublin. <laughs> See, I thought I'd throw in a bit of America to make you feel at home, Gay. Very good, Twink. And, and to say, here is the voting of the Dublin Central Jury. Song A, two hearts, four votes. Two hearts goes to 20. Song B, only a fantasy, no votes. Only a fantasy stays at seven. Song C, couldn't live my life, no votes. Song C stays at 15. Song D, the circus song, one vote. Circus song goes to six. Song E, long before, <coughs> four votes. Long before goes to 16. Song F, hearts, no votes. Song F, Hearts, stays at three. Song G, Hold Her Now, one vote. Hold Her Now goes to 15. And song H, Wait Until the Weekend Comes, no votes. Et voila, so saying this is the end of the votes from the Dublin Central Jury, and good evening to you. Good night to you, Twink, and thank you very much indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we have a winner. Song H, Wait Till the Weekend Comes, <laughs> sung by Maria Christian, written by Brendan Graham. Brendan Graham, the composer of Wait Until the Weekend Comes, sung by Maria Christian, Linda Martin standing by with their trophy and bouquet of flowers, 
and our head of department, Niall McCarthy, standing by, I hope, with a check for £1,000 to present to our winning composer. Niall, over to you. And on Dork, our congratulations to Maria Christian, our congratulations, of course, to Brendan Graham. We fade out now, ladies and gentlemen, with a reprise of the winning song, and with that, we say good night to you from the 20th National Song Contest. Good night to you, thank you for joining us, goodbye for now. <laughs> Wait until